Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're going to show you guys how you can better use Woohoo. Specifically, we're going to go over how you can embed your forms onto a WordPress website. So, let's just head over to Woohoo. As you can see, we're currently on the homepage of Woohoo, where we're currently viewing all our forms that we have on hand. And our goal is to embed the simple RSVP website into the WordPress blog that we are currently on writing on a different tab. So first things first, we're going to need to share this form so that we can get the embed link. So we can either do that by opening the form itself, or we can do that automatically quickly through the shortcut right over here with the share button. So if you hit the share form button, you will immediately be given this page where you can then get a generic link for the form, title link if you want it based on your title, links for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, email, but what we're interested in is this WordPress embed link. So let's just copy that. Then from here, we're gonna he wanna head over to our corresponding WordPress website. So let's just get that copied into our dashboard. And then we're gonna quickly explain multiple methods on how you can embed the website into, or sorry, not the website, but the form into your website. Okay, so right now we're going to copy all of these links just so that we can show you different ways. So the generic way for embedding a normal URL, as you can see here, is to first, let's just head over to our WordPress website. We're going to want to first type backslash and then embed. And here you can just paste your URL, the regular URL that starts with HTTPS. And once you're happy with it, you can just hit embed. So once you've embedded it here, if you were to head over to the view and just look at the preview in a new tab, as you can see, your link will actually appear as a regular link, which you can then click and then it'll bring you to the form. But there's another way you can do this, which is a bit more dynamic and it's a way that I personally prefer. So instead of using the generic embed link, we're going to head back here to get the WordPress embed form for our website and we're going to head back to the editor so instead of just going through all that hassle of having to type embed look for the embed block over here you can literally just get this link the wordpress one specifically and paste it as is it becomes short code which can then if you were to hit view let's just hit view after it auto saves view preview a new tab and if as you were to see it'll actually appear as is on your website. Now, this is the method I personally prefer because you don't actually have to go to a different tab. All of it is here and you can submit from here. It's perfectly, it works perfectly well. It works as normal. How many guests? Zero, none. And if you were to submit your response, or at least in this case, because I limited it to one user, but let me just fix this really quick. Let's just try to resubmit it. Okay, so this should work this time. Let's just try hitting submit. And boom, it actually does take forms as is. You don't have to leave the website and it's perfectly integrated into your WordPress. And that's all you really have to say about this. Hopefully this helps you better manage any data collection you might be doing on Bufu. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help when it comes to Bufu, check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.